Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another interesting SQL question. This question was asked in one of the Bosch SQL interview and quite interesting question. Also, I will be solving this question using three methods. First will be using CT and filter clause. Second will be using having clause. Third will be using CT and join clause. This is very interesting concept. So watch this video till end. You will learn a lot of things during the course of this video. Okay, so let's jump on the question. So we have this call details table if you see and we have three columns in this call type, call number, call duration. Call type can be outgoing call, it can be SMS or it can be incoming, right? And there's various call number and also call duration. In case of SMS, call duration is always one. So the question says write a SQL to determine phone numbers that satisfy blue conditions. Condition one, the numbers should have both incoming and outgoing call so a particular number let's say this number so a particular number should have incoming call also and outcoming uh, outgoing call also first condition it should satisfy that second condition is the sum of duration of outgoing calls should be greater than sum of duration of incoming calls right so we have to check two conditions first is the number should have both incoming and outcoming uh, outgoing call right so for example if you see 2159010 it has incoming call also and it has outgoing call also right so multiple outgoing and multiple incoming is possible to the same number so first thing we have to check that and second thing the sum of duration of outgoing call should be greater than sum of duration of incoming calls because there can be multiple outgoing calls so we have to aggregate and get it okay so let's start i will start with the first method ct and filter clause so now if you see this question, we have to find, we have to compare the call duration between outgoing and incoming, right? So if we have to compare, we have to bring them in two different columns. Once I have those in two different columns, I can just compare using VL clause, right? So how I will bring that data to two different columns is using pivot. So pivot we can use using case and sum and case when. I have created a separate video completely to understand how to pivot data but I will be using directly here. You can watch that video, I will tag it here. So what I'm going to do, I will say select, I need call number, right? And now I need two columns. One column will tell me the duration of incoming calls and one column will tell me duration of outgoing calls. So I'll say from call details, right? group by call number because for each call number I need both the details incoming and outgoing right so I'll say case when call type equal to out then call duration right only those duration I'm taking where call type equal to out and I can use else also by default it is else is null if I just say this one so if it is not call type is not out everything else will be taken as null but I'm just putting it just for understanding and end as out duration right and I'm going to sum it because I need a sum of all the outgoing duration so I have sum it that's it right similarly I need incoming I'll say comma this will be INC right then call duration else null as incoming duration okay so if I run this you see I've got out duration and in duration for each number so we have total nine numbers and for each one of them I have got out duration and incoming duration now the question says the numbers should have both incoming and outgoing calls. So wherever we are seeing null, this means those numbers are do not have out duration. So this number do not have any outgoing call and this number don't have anything, right? Not, uh, not outgoing or incoming. It will have only SMSs. So we have to first check that it should have some value in both of them. And then this value out duration should be greater than in duration, right? So I'll just make it as CT and put those filter conditions with CT as this, right? Select from CT, 
right? I need just call number. So which one will qualify? This one will qualify only, right? Only this one has both the things and out is greater than incoming. From city where, now these are in two different columns. So I can just directly put where condition, right? Uh, where these two should not be null. So I will say out duration is not null. Both should not be null, right? And null means it doesn't have any kind of call incoming or outgoing. And out duration should be greater than in duration, right? That's it. That's it we have to do. So with CTS, this just colon. Okay, everything is fine now. So I hope this is understood. So the result of first query is this. And then on top of it, now we have this in three different columns. I can just directly put where condition, where out duration is not null, in duration is not null, and out duration should be greater than in duration. So I will get this one, right? 90, so we have got our answer, 215, right? I hope this, this under, you understand this very simple. Let's move on to the second method. Second method is using having clause. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I will put everything in having clause. So I'll just copy this again and put it here. Now what I'm, I will do, I will just put these conditions in having clause. So I will say having and just remove from here, control X. So I'll say the sum of outgoing calls should be greater than sum of incoming calls, right? This is my first condition. Now I'm doing aggregation here and immediately I'm doing having clause, right? So I'll just remove this. This is not required and remove this as well, right? And also one more thing that it should be, it should not be null, right? Or what can I say? I can say it should be greater than zero. The, the sum of incoming and outgoing should be greater than zero. So I can say, I can use is null also in where condition or here I can say greater than zero. Should be greater than zero, right? And similarly, this should be greater than zero, right? And and this condition. So I have put three conditions. The outgoing call should be greater than zero, right? Because if it is null, it will not be greater than zero. Again, this should be greater than zero and outgoing should be greater than incoming. So everything, all these three conditions, which we have put here, we have put in the having clause now. That's it. I'm just going to run this and we should have 2159010. So we have again got 2159010. Right. So I will just repeat it. What we have done. We aggregated value here separately in a separate CT. And then those values, because those becomes a new column we are using in where condition simply, right? I can use greater than also is not null. Anything is fine here. What I'm doing, I have put all those conditions. So I have not write CT or subquery directly. I'm writing in having clause. So when I'm doing group by, I can write aggregated values, filter conditions in having clause. So everything is aggregated here. So I able to put in having clause. I hope this makes sense. Let's move on to the final one. Very interesting using CT and join. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create two CTs for incoming and outgoing and then I will join them. Okay, let me do it. So let me copy this as it is. Okay. So CT1, I'll say where sum of duration, I will just remove it here, call type equal to out, right? And I will just do sum of duration because I am already putting this filter of call type equal to out. I don't have to put this 
is when here only this one will come from the query right so i will say duration just duration okay so this is my ct out now i will create one more ct ct in ct in and i will say it should be incoming right so far good so we have got two one is for incoming duration and this is ct out ct in this has outgoing outgoing information call number and duration of outgoing calls call number and duration of incoming calls now what i will do i will say select from ct out inner join ct in right this is very interesting stuff here because what i am doing i am saying inner join which means the number which are present in both out and in will only be qualified right because some numbers will not have outgoing calls some numbers will not have incoming calls right so those will not inner join right if the number has outgoing call also from here also it is coming and if it is coming from here also then only it will get joined that's why i am doing inner join so everything else will already be filtered so we don't have to put these conditions where this is greater than 0 greater than 0 is not null because i am already doing inner join here so i'll say inner join this on ct out dot call number equal to ct in dot call number right now only thing in where condition i have to put is the call duration which is coming from out right ct out dot call duration duration sorry i have name is duration should be greater than ct in dot duration this is the only thing i want right that's it and i will take ct out or ct in anything i can take here because it is an join dot call number that's it right now if i run this we should get again this 2159010 About two one five nine zero one zero. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. I hope you learned many things in this question, in this solution. Let me know if you have a better solution than these three. I am going to put all the insert statement, creative statement in description box, and do like my videos and share my channel so that it will motivate me if more people will watch it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.